Kacha. The camera's too big, it won't fit up here. Good morning, guys. I'm so excited because it's a secret. We're not telling the kids yet. This is like we're going to Disneyland or something. We're not, but we ordered the kids' beds today. I'm so excited. Um, we found bunk beds that will separate into two twin beds because I think pretty soon here we're gonna separate their rooms. But for now, it'll be bunk beds and they're gonna be so excited. So look, this is what it's gonna look like. It's very blue on this computer screen. Where is it separated? There, see they separate like that. Oh, I'm so excited. The only thing is we ordered their mattresses and they will not be here for a little while. So what we're gonna do, this probably sounds crazy, but I know that they're not gonna like want to have this up in their room and not be able to sleep on it. So we got two twin air mattresses, <laughs> which they're <coughs> super like cheap air mattresses nothing expensive at all but just something that we could put there so they could sleep on the bunk beds i don't want to talk too loud um until their mattresses come in but oh my god they're gonna freak out i gotta close this before someone walks in here but i'm so excited we've been wanting to do this for the longest time and we're supposed to go pick it up today when josh gets off work which he gets off in like an hour and a half He'll be here about an hour and 45 minutes-ish. But, um, we ordered that on, is my face red? This red light makes me look terrible. He's got a red light on his computer and it, that was terrible. Anyways, we ordered them off of Walmart and it says that we should be able to pick it up today. Um, or it says it's ready available for pickup today right now it says like they're preparing the order and they're getting it ready and then they'll like send me an email when we can come pick it up which it ordered it at like noon ish 12 30 or something so what time is it it's three it should be done i would think within the next two hours you know by the time josh gets home Also, just to clarify, because I know it sounds weird that I don't want to tell the kids, but I don't want to tell them in case something happens and we can't pick it up today, or I don't know, I always have the worst fear that like my order's gonna get canceled or they're gonna be like, no, we really don't have it in stock, you gotta wait another week or something, you know, something like that. I don't wanna get their hopes up for nothing, so that's why I'm not telling them. But since we don't know like how big the box is, we don't have a truck. Josh is going to ask our next door neighbor if he can um, go with us to go pick it up. So we can just put it in the back of his truck. So hopefully he's home today. If not, we might be strapping it to our roof, which... Oh my god. Alright, first things first. We gotta clean that room. So, we are going... We are going. I'm going into the kids' room now to start cleaning up. Maddie, if you can see that over there, uh, movie tower over there. So she's putting all those up first. But I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna start cleaning up and throwing some stuff away that needs to be thrown away. Oh man, there's a mess in here. Got an hour till Josh gets home. And I got the email, they are, I mean it, it's ready. So we can pick it up as soon as Josh gets here. And our neighbor said that he will be ready around six, or he'll be like available around six, or Josh could just take his truck and go grab it real fast. So we'll see what ends up working out, but holy crap, I gotta clean this room.
So we pretty much finished their room. They're picking up the last little like bit of stuff on the floor so I can vacuum and mop. And I think Josh is probably just gonna ride with our neighbor by himself and go pick it up. And I'm excited. I think Logan knows though. He's already said, it's gonna be a bed like three times. And then he, I, cause I told him it was a surprise for their room. Something for their room that they've been wanting. And I think he already knows, but whatever they're still gonna be excited and I'm very excited and I can't wait they're in there playing though I need to go turn the vacuum on so they hurry up <laughs> it's dark in here because the lights out I went to uh, turn on the vacuum yep I went to turn on the vacuum and I guess it blew the breaker for back here because and, uh, nothing um, a minute ago when we were cleaning, Mom was in here with me, I saw the light go a little darker. Yeah. That's where we're done in here. I moved the bed so I could vacuum behind it. And I found Bobby, one of our Gravity Falls characters. The lights are on up here, but not at the back of the house, so Josh just went to go try to flip it back. Hopefully he didn't mess anything up. All I did was turn the breaker off. I'm, all I did was turn the breaker off. All I did was turn the vacuum on, and as soon as I pushed the button on the vacuum, it just turned off, so. Okay, gotta wait to vacuum. Okay, look. <gasps> what is it? I don't know. What is it? Oh, you still do that drumming thing with your fingers? I've been closing my eyes too long. <laughs> I see the blurriness. What is it? You said it earlier. It's gonna be super different. <laughs> we didn't get the mattresses. The mattresses didn't come in yet, so we got yes. just a little air mattress for now. What do you think? Does it look cool? Uh huh. Yeah. Are you gonna love it? And then when y'all separate rooms, they separate. Cool. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Who's sleeping on the top bunk? I actually want to be on the top bunk. Y'all can sleep up there together. It says don't forget a pump. Five minutes later. I completely forgot that the camera was on. I was just gonna get a shot of me like coming into the into the car. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> so my dash is so dang bumpy. I cannot set this tripod anywhere. Anyways, I came and I set the camera in the car and then I had to move my grandma's car because she was parked behind me and I went in and then I came back out and I forgot the card. So I had to go back in and get the card, and then I started coming out and I forgot my phone. So I had to go back in and get my phone for Maddie. And when I just got in the car, I completely forgot the camera was on. And I sat on the keys. They were in the seat. Ugh. Anyways, so, a little update on what is going on. Let me get out of this uh, driveway. I think the last thing I vlogged was us, I tried to, vacuum the kids room and I blew a breaker 
flipped a breaker, whatever, tripped it. Well, Josh went outside and whoever lived here before us or the owner, I don't know, whoever labeled the breaker box, one only labeled like five out of the 20 or something that's over there and half of them were labeled wrong. So Josh went outside and ended up flipping all the breakers um, one by one and nothing worked. Everything that's off is my grandma's room, the kids room, the kids bathroom and our closet in our room for some reason. Which it's all on the same wall like the same side of the house but our bedroom light works and it's on that side. I don't know. It's really weird. Anyways, it's two rooms, a bathroom, and then our closet. Well, we can't figure it out. The lights are off. Josh just picked up the bed. And how are we supposed to put together a bunk bed in a room with no lights? Like, what do I do? <laughs> Luckily, Josh's friend, who, he's the one who helped us move and stuff. Um, he's electric, it, huh? He is an electrician, and he is gonna go get a voltmeter and um, bring it over and try to see like what's going on with our breaker, if it's bad or what. Like, I have no idea what that would even cost. Like, no idea, not the slightest clue. For all I know, it could be $5, it could be $5 million. Like, I have no idea. He's on his way over to come check that and I am on my way to Walmart because stupid me ordered air mattresses to go on the bunk bed so the kids could sleep on it tonight and for the next few days till the, the um, mattresses get here. And the, it didn't come with a pump. So I have to go to Walmart and get a pump so we can even pump the dang mattresses up. It's been one of those nights, guys. It's, it's been one of those nights. And another thing, Josh came to pick up the mattress and the, I mean the two air mattresses and the bunk beds and the, he was like, send me the order like page where it shows what you ordered because they came out and handed me a tent. <sighs> like what the heck? He had to show them that they gave him the wrong thing, that we did not order a tent. Oh, I can't like. Today's just, I can't. I am back from Walmart. Grabbed a few extra things, of course, because I can't go in a store without buying things I don't really need. Actually, I needed most of this. <laughs> Maybe not the ice cream. But, Aaron's still not here. Hopefully he gets here soon, or we might not be able to put the bed together tonight, which really sucks. Oh. I'm gonna come back for these big bottles, but hopefully he gets here soon. Josh said he texted him and he hasn't said anything yet, so. All right, I got home and um, Josh's friend could not come and check the breaker stuff thingamajigger, so we can't put the bed together. Right here. Can't do anything with it because we can't see in the room. <coughs> so, if you have the hallway light, you might can do it. Mm -mm. So we're probably just gonna do it tomorrow, with you know the but window open and everything, be able to see. But um, he's got another friend that's an electrician that should come tomorrow, um, or that said he's gonna come by tomorrow. But anyways, long story short, the kids still wanted to sleep on their new beds, so. We got a pink one set up and a black and white one set up. And. Whoa. They're gonna sleep in here tonight, so they have some light, you know, TV and stuff, because their room is pitch black. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for these cute kids. <laughs> We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I only get five likes on this video. I only get like a hundred. No.